when we talk about something being friendly it's going to have rounded corners all right so i think that's something we're going to do in this session we're going to create the sharp edge and then we're going to create the second one i'll show you how you can just round it without having to go over the process from scratch all right that i think that's enough talking um i'll just dive right into the design but the first thing i do whenever i get any project the first thing i do is to make my own research who are their competitors i ask them this question it will help me actually understand what they would like and then i also ask them what brand do they look up to all right this would help you than them all right because now you'll be able to tell the personality of that person now there are two different people one is the brand that a person owns and then the brand owner himself or herself all right by understanding these two personality you'll be able to make i'm going to be using the word a lot informed decisions because now you have to understand that the brand owner has a target so my my fire went off there and i'm trying to like connect back um, to the call i'm sure there are a lot of people waiting in the call and see um, my network is out so i'm going to skip this to the point where i come back to the call so my network is back and i just have to speed up with everything because it's just mess up nigeria usually happens to us most of the time <laughs> Hello guys, I'm back. <laughs> guys, I, I'm back. <laughs> yeah, so uh, my my fire actually tripped off. Um, wow, so sorry about that. So I was talking about the personality. Please, can you guys hear me? Yes, David, I can hear you. Yes, we can. Awesome. Awesome. So there are two kinds of personality, like I was saying, the, the brand owner and then the brand itself. So by putting these two people into different um, categories, you'll be able to tell what really the brand owner wants for his brand. And then you'll be able to tell of their users. So you need to ask of their target audience as well. It's, it's very important that you ask of the target audience because people there are brands that only target gen z's and there are brands that target only millennials and then there are brands that target both categories of people the gen z's and the millennials and one example of that would be our local bank anybody at all as long as you're of age to save money you can open a bank account there but there are certain fintech products that are mainly for gen z's even though they won't tell you but from the designs you'll be able to tell oh this is a gen z product all right so that is something you need to also differentiate in your research now creating of mood board someone asked me during the call today creating of mood board is very essential is it compulsory no it's not if you want to create a mood board then go ahead and go ahead and create one all right don't be ashamed and then you can steal like an artist how do you steal like an artist it is by collecting references from other people's work all right the designers out there inspire me a lot and i'm not just saying this i've said this several times whenever i come on twitter i see a lot of designs from amazing designers especially even new designers they're doing amazing i save their work and I bring them to my mood boards when I, whenever I'm creating a new design. And by putting them in your mood boards, you'll be able to collect things from those designs. Things like colors, things like an idea of what the designer has done in regards to some visual elements. And these visual elements are elements that will be used in the designs afterwards, such as your social media designs. All right, so you use these visual elements for such things and I've been able to take this a lot from certain brands you, you, You'd also be able to get ideas for patterns because if you're creating a branding and I'm talking about a full branding for a brand You definitely would create patterns. All right, so you create visual elements and then you create patterns All right, so these things are necessary when you're doing you don't need to put it in your presentation but just create a mood board and 
you do yourself a lot of good pinterest is one very amazing place to gather designs like the designers there i don't know what they they take in the morning like they're amazing designers so you can go on pinterest and save up as many designs as you want bring them into your illustrator file and get right into work so let's get to this design first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to reduce the opacity right and then i'm going to lock this layer so uh, my my file might trip off again uh, even though it's charging at the moment so just stay on the call if it trips off um, i'm so sorry about that guys all right so i'll go to pick to layers go to layers and then i'm going to lock this file i've locked it i'm going to create a new layer on top of it and by doing so this guy will not disturb me now i don't have to keep moving him up and down all right so that is locked the next thing i'm going to do is turn on my grids all right you can just right click on the board and go to show grids and so we have our grids here i'll go back to the first layer turn on this stuff select this and just enlarge it in a way that it laps on the grid it's not possible all the time though so but this this actually works all right so we have that this is perfect i'll select that and i'll turn that off again now i have this all right now my frame is this from this point to this point will be my frame and i want the logo to be inside so let's get right back into what we're doing i'll turn on my ruler control arrow and drag i'll just drag a ruler sorry i'm on the wrong frame all right so drag a ruler place it here at the top because i don't want to draw another shape all right and these are just formality guys you don't need to do all of these things all right, so it's, these are just guides to actually um, guide whatever results um, you'll be getting at the end of the day. So once I'm done with that, I'll bring out my line tool, go to the tools, right click, bring out the line tool, or you can use the shortcut. I use shortcut a lot, but because I'm recording the video, I'm um, using the from the box, the toolbox. All right, so I will draw a line going this way to this point. All right it's not going to have a stroke or a feel so i'll go to the stroke which is the second one turn that on and make that black right so we have our first line right and i like where it's lapping i like it so would have something that is not displaced all right with that i'm going to actually you know what i'll move this line to this point i'll turn on snapping so go to view and turn on snap to grid that way when you move things it snaps you can see what's happening so you don't have to um, be too precise and just moving things around you can just move things with ease so i've turned that on i'll place this other one here all right then draw the line again this time I'm using the shortcut um, the slash next to on the same line with p letter p right we have it at the top and from here to this point is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is an eight-point grid, so and which is like a norm. So I'll just grab this guy and then bring him down this way. So I have been able to get this line and the top line. Now, do we have any other line? Yes, we do. This other line. So we're going to count another eight and we'll bring it to that eight so this is one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight so i kept it in nine which is wrong so i'll send that up and that's correct now you have to be consistent with whatever you're building so you'd ensure that it's a calculated attempt you're not just going to be moving things around and doing and that's why it's good to use the grid because the grid is going to give you precisions and it's going to just give you that pixel perfect logo that is honestly perfect all right perfect you can have perfect logos all right but you can't be perfect so we're, we we have this horizontal line sorted now and then we need obviously someone has already said it we need 
the vertical line so i'm going to move this i just keep this where it is i'm going to move this line eight steps as well with the other ones so move it eight step uh this way and it should be here one two three four one two three four correct so we have all of the lines of i mean we have the vertical lines um the horizontal lines complete we still need one line uh for the vertical lines which would now give us a three three so you see the horizontal lines are one two three and this other one is three lines as well all right so that is that is cool we have um we've done all that we can for the horizontal and vertical lines now we need to have a slanted line not a slanted line actually we need to have two slanted lines and it's going to cut across these lines so we need it to be at this point we don't want it to be um kind of displaced so we're going to select one of these longer lines the vertical lines we'll duplicate it with ctrl c plus ctrl f now we have it is at the same point so you can see it and then i'm going to hold shift on my keyboard so i'm assuming they have a perfect slanted line i think it's about uh i don't know how many degrees that would be so i'll just turn on my property panel here and see how many degrees that would be and flip it hold shift and flip it this way and that is 315 degrees right with this we can now align this this way and it's perfect all right it's it's exactly where we want it to be all right and then by doing that we're going to obviously bring it downwards uh, so i'm holding alt and i'm bringing that downwards right to this point uh, not there actually yes perfect right so we have the logo set and it's just time for us to get everything or get the party started so we've been able to do the logo i'm just going to resize things by holding shift and um, i'll resize this part and this part as well i just like having my things some type of way so resize this one So I'm resizing, uh, you can just resize all of that and you're going to have something like this and um, we can, um, so once you've been able to create the wireframes uh, with precisions and I'm talking with the grids, ensure you're working with the grids so that it would give you that perfect, pixel perfect um, brand mark actually so then once you do that you can now select everything this is this is what i do i'll select everything hold shift and alt and just move out my wireframe i'll group that and leave it outside and then i'll select the other one what i have there all right and i would um sorry select everything here and then go to the shape builder tool but before i do that i would like to move this as away um let's let's move that away so i'll turn on the grid on the first one and just move it away this way and then select this lock that grid select that go to the shape builder tool select it and then we can now draw the part that we want so we would select this top part we need that part and then from here to this point and we need that part go to the color upward choose your color for now we're going to choose the black and then go to select now someone has had to ask me this question how do you delete the other stuff uh, without having to do them one after the other it's it's honestly very simple hold shift select only what you want to keep so i'm going to just hold shift and click this other tool that i've created and then press backspace and you will be able to get rid of the other lines and there guys we've been able to create 
um, the Freemans logo. Now, in I said that we're going to do it two ways. Um, we're going to do it two ways. So the two ways would be um, actually converting this other one into the rounded shape. It. All you need to do to round the corners is hold control and just swipe this the way you want. You can swipe it all to the end. You can swipe it in a certain way and you're going to have this. Someone's mic is turned on. Please just help me and turn it off, please. Um, so that's that's how you can round things inside of, um, of Illustrator. And we are going to have our logo that way. I'm going to just duplicate this and attach a text to it. All right, so let's go to this one and we're going to attach a text to it. We're still going to use the format. I'm going to use this other one, the new one. I'm actually going to use a new one. I'll get rid of this one. We have it in this other frame. So with this, I'm going to do, I'm going to move this upward somewhere like this and then bring in my text to, I'm going to type Freema. All right go into the properties channel and then i'm going to change it to a font like uh, let's say lato oh i don't have lato anymore sora let's try sora and see sora medium and then we can enlarge this i'm going to have it skip two lines then we're going to just move this in a bit then enlarge it this way something like this and then make it smaller place this here select both of them I'll select this one right you can once you select it, I'm going to turn it into a shape. So I'll go to Object, Expand, and I'm going to change that to an object. Now, this way, I'm going to have some kind of things I want. I'll go to the Unify panel and just unite all those shapes that are showing there. Um, select these two and choose this black color. And then we have this group it reduce the size sorry about that hold shift and alt reduce the size and we're going to put that horizontally and vertically i'm going to draw i'm going to draw a frame for this in as much as it's white it's not a frame you need to have a frame so i'll go to the top here uh, select my shape two which is the square two and then i'll click here i already know the size of this frame it's 1000 so i'm going to type 1000 copy that ctrl a ctrl c and paste that here then press ok that way it's going to just cover everything i don't have to draw it manually so i'll hold um, ctrl and shift and move this to the back it's to the back now i'll select my frame and then choose the white color here and we have that just resize it a bit inside and we have our logo ready framer so that's that's it guys that's how you can actually um create your logos in um adobe illustrator really quick and um you can go about actually walking around the font to choose a font that would work with whatever you want to create and just have a masterpiece at the end of the day one thing i do with my font choice is actually getting many fonts i get like five different fonts place the logo side by side with them and then i actually choose my fonts based on personality like if i need something the logo should be bold my font will be bold if i want the logo to be stylish then my font will be a stylish font obviously so by stylish i still have to find like five 
stylish font and then place the logo side by side or whichever way i want to have it in the alignment because this is the horizontal alignment if it's vertical alignment place it in that manner and then have five of them in a frame and then by looking at them i'll be able to tell now i tell the one that actually will suit the logo based on my own experience at times it doesn't work at the end of the day but that is what i'll now go with and that's what i'll present also to the clients at times i present like three of the top choice and allow the clients actually influence the decision at the end of the day so this is how you can recreate um, any logo um, super fast in adobe illustrator can begin now the money point identity is fine um, it's okay it's straightforward it's m and m is for the initial the m is the initial of your name so their name their name is spelled as m o n i e then p o p o i n t which is money point all right so we have money point and this is what we're going to do all right we're going to break it into two we have these two uh we have this name what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this money point. You know, let's take it to a new frame. So to duplicate a frame, go to the art board to hold alt and move it to the right or to the left or whichever way you want to. And I'm holding shift to stabilize it on that margin. So I'll get rid of this and let us uh divide this now we're going to break this into two names sorry i'm going over bringing people into the call and having to continue all right so we're going to break this into two so i'll duplicate it holding alt and then i'm going to put points and then money now obviously money represents how is money spelled again money I hope that's correct and then points represents what so many things but I'm going to use location so I'm sure someone has already seen the I've already seen uh, the end result so I've broken that into two and this is basically what they mean resize it this way and so this is me just doing my word mapping there's something called word mapping in uh, logo design where you get to look for keywords that will drive the solution that you'll be working with at the end now money point is a financial institution so obviously money covers that as well and then the points can be I'm sure they have um, the POS now so it can be a particular location where they carry out their business or something else all right someone's mic is turned on can you please just mute uh for us ayo all right thank you right so we'll proceed so i have these two and the next thing i'm going to do is to draw up my sketch now i'm not going to be bringing in a mood board or ideas because i already have an idea in mind so that is to say it's not every time you'd have to actually get out um, mood boards but it's necessary for certain uh, times when working so what i'm going to do next is i have a brush tool i'll go i'll go to the paint brush tool all right this is this is money and this is location now money for money i would want to do something like um, m as initial and then we have like a flap something going like this you know when money is flying in the air when those big boys are spraying money that uh, they worked for on the air so maybe something like this as the money so I'll, I'll just write plus there let me bring in this set of people to the call right so we have m plus the money symbol and then obviously we have location so how is location drawn again so location can be this way 
and then maybe an O at the center and some people like to put something like a dash it's like a, a shadow or something I don't know showcasing a point and then we can also have um, plus navigations so we can have navigations going in this way I hope everyone can see the screen let me zoom in we can have the four cardinal points it's also a point right so I didn't even factor this when I was brainstorming for this logo so this is also a point so from this idea we would now be able to draw up sketches right so this sketch would now contain our idea for the money point now we are going to bring in M um, so when you when you hear me pausing that means I'm bringing somebody back uh, into the call I mean so we're going to bring in M so M is this this is M and then this is location and that little O there and then we have the money um, you know what I'm going to work with this too so let's plus this too and that is where I feel like money points did not actually do so much justice to their name so we're going to do this too and the idea I had initially was for this too actually let me not pretend like I didn't have an idea for this too so I'm going to draw this but this time is going to be upside down so we're going to have this location right sounded like this location <laughs> so we're going to have that this um, I mean location uh, symbol upside down and then we're going to have M all right so M is drawn in this manner right that that looks somehow good so we can have other sketch and that's why it's good to use rough papers um, when you start using when you start working with advanced um, I don't know if someone is yeah first um, Festus do you have a question your hands are up okay I think that was a mistake all right so I'm going to increase the size of this um, paintbrush at the top there and then I'm going to draw now I I have a baseline for what I want to do so I'm going to draw something like this and it's going to have sort of a curve this way and then I'll do the same thing something like this this way and this one going this way so we have we have two ideas and they both show our points actually they both show our location right so we have something going all right um, let's see with the navigation this navigation what are we going to have maybe something like this I'm seeing a negative space so maybe something like this and then at the center here we can have something what can we have there uh, I don't think it's going to give me what I want so maybe a location this is not bad but it's bad <laughs> all right so let's say we have the money uh, we have this these are just different ideas and in navigation definitely would not work for me in this regard so maybe just have one of these points downwards All right yep so this is not bad as well but it's bad <laughs> all right so let's let's proceed I'm going to select all of these and reduce their size just keep them somewhere around there I'm going to make them the same stroke line so let's do three uh, three is too much let's do one right so all of them now are in the same stroke size uh, resize that and just put it by the side we can go on to create more ideas our brush tool is B and I'm definitely going to increase it to three and then let's let's walk around this I, I think I like this and I also like this so let's let's do some more of that idea um, 
and see what we're going to have so if we bring this downwards this way and bring this downwards this way we probably have this as this and this as this no let's also have this we're going to we have an idea all right so i i like i like this style and i equally like uh this other one so i'm going to draw this this way curve it i'm actually going to curve it and then this way as well and curve it right i know someone has seen something while i was doing that so i'm going to do that we'll draw it this way right curve it this way around around and end it here our o right so now we have three ideas that we can bank on and this is how you do your sketch after sketching i'm on a call with you guys and that's why i'm sketching so fast if i was working on a project i probably would be i probably wouldn't be this fast it would take me probably another uh day to finish the sketch but bringing the logo to life don't take me much time uh, what takes me much time is actually brainstorming and getting the idea out of my head for the direction I want to go and after doing that I will now fine-tune it by duplicating that frame again and this time I'm going to only be leaving the ideas that the top ideas that I feel like would work for what I want to do all right so by doing that, I can be able to now explain to the client what I've been able to achieve with those sketches. So I, what I'm doing now is just positioning the ideas I've done. So these are three ideas, right? And the O inside. So these are three ideas that we are going to work on. And um, yeah, so by doing this, if I put out a vote, if I, I'm going to go on Twitter now and I'm going to put out a poll so you guys can choose which one uh, we should work on. So I'd go back to Twitter and I would going to type, um, I'm going to do a poll. So choose from the poll um, A, B, or C. What logo should we build for money points? Right, this is going to last for for zero days, one hour, zero hour. I say last for 10 minutes all right so you can cast your votes we're back in the fight and I'm actually going to do all but I'm going to present one online afterwards so we now have these three ideas let's get into the build up so I'm going to duplicate another frame all right this time I'm going to delete all of these and all of these ones and just bring this one first you know what well, let's bring the easiest one first so the easiest one is the one at the center bring it first and you can see our guy is already looking so good on this frame so we have this guy and to do this all I'll do is group it now assume this is a sketch on paper so I sketched online doesn't mean I sketch online actually I sketch on paper but assume that this is a sketch on paper so reduce the opacity once you've done that then uh, this would work more with slanted lines so we're going to bring up the line line 2 I'm going to hold shift and slant it this way but that looks too far away so I'm going to draw a straight line first because both sides have the same they have the same build right so uh, we're going to work with this on at the center. This is going to be the center for us Right and we can now draw up another line Take this. I'm going to change the color to red 
so that it's going to differentiate the both lines now we can draw up uh, the other slanted line and obviously it was far away from what we had there right something like this you know what we're going to take this because they are going to have double buttes and when I say double buttes I mean it's going to be thick a bit thick so it's going to be something like this for one side so I'm going to grab this extend it really really high right uh, let's zoom out and do that again All right this is fine I'm going to change that to black and by changing that to black I'll just duplicate it actually just grab that right grab that and then just flip it this way for the down part stop doing this for the down part so it's going to be there smooth it in a bit right so we have that for the down part um, we need to do for the slanted areas so I'll select this and slant it this way briefly it won't be so into it won't be too slanted just this way is fine and then I would duplicate it by holding controls pressing control C and control F and then we can flip it this other way yep that's it right and by flipping it this way I would have to adjust it something like this right uh, before I do this I'm going to use this one to draw the arrow so I'll show you how we do that arrow thing hold shift spin it this way right so we're going to do the arrow and then we'll come back and use that to slant whatever we're doing so draw the arrow draw a line this way right and on that line ctrl c ctrl f we can slant it this way take that upwards select these both lines and then bring out I'm going to bring out the ruler place it at the center uh, that's not the center so I'm going to get rid of that come back to this and adjust it holding shift and alt and I like what I have here ctrl C ctrl F go to the uh, property channel at the top and I'll flip it horizontally right we have this and that is our arrow our arrow is set I'll just reduce this a bit this way holding shift and this one as well holding shift and we have the arrow point at the end this point right it's not pretty much the way it should be um, let's bring in the brush tool and we'll draw something like that arrow so something like this should be like this right so this would be our reference just keep it by the side and we would have to select this ctrl c ctrl f and let's see if this works so we're going to flip that this way the other way let's let's bring that downwards and see holding shift um, something like this 
something like this. Hold the walk. Right, get rid of the center line. Don't need that anymore. Right. Can you guys hear me? Hello, can anyone hear me? Yeah, thank you. Yes, 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 you can. Yes, you can. Okay. Thank you. All right, so I'll select this one, get rid of it. I thought the network kicked me out. <laughs> right, so we have this part. I'll duplicate it, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, come over here and flip it the other way. Then I'll move it in this way a bit. Yeah. So we should have something like this. Select both of them and move them downwards a bit. One step. I'll go to my horizontal tool and take it one step. At a time, and we're almost there. So we have that arrow, but it's not looking like what I actually envisioned for this arrow on the other end. I don't want it to be too long or lengthy, so we're going to have to adjust this one, move this upward a bit. Right, Ctrl C, Ctrl F, flip it the other way, move it in a bit this way. Right, this is looking more like what I want to use for this. Let's get this guy one side, select all of this, group it, and I'm going to flip it this way. Right, bring it back here. So, bring it back here and see how I can adjust it to fit with what we want at the end of the day. So move this upwards here, I like it. Select this tool, I'm going to duplicate it because I want a spacing so you can see the space is exactly where I want it to be, right? I'm going to leave one of that line going to leave one of that line turn it red let me use the red one so that I know that the line is not part of it and then now we're done with one side and all we have to do for the rest of it now is to select everything we're going to select everything to select the sketch ctrl C ctrl F now we're going to mirror it just come here and flip horizontally and why I use that red line is so I can know where the red line actually stops. I'll zoom in and move it. Uh, so let's do that again. I, if I group it now, so I don't have to select everything again, then move it holding shift. And you can see it has now lap or it's now at that point of the red and then select that, ungroup it alright, from that red point, delete can now get rid of the entire red and then move this guy one side right, I feel like the arrows are too close to each other uh, but as a result, we might have to end up with for this particular exploration we can refine it later so with this, remember what we have to do. Um, always leave all, your, all of your references because they will help you in telling the story of that particular uh, um, exploration at the end of the day. So always leave your story, uh, whatever it creates while working on that logo. So selecting all of this, we're going to duplicate this frame again, obviously, to keep our, our lines get rid of this other one and then with these lines uh, we we'll zoom in and then go to the shape builder tool click on it I'm going to ungroup this just hold shift and control and G to ensure that everything has been ungrouped and then we can now start
building hold the shape builder tool i went to the artboard tool <laughs> so the shape builder tool and then we can now start building so we're building this up right that has been done this is just going to be a one-sided um, brand mark right you can zoom in and get rid of anyone holding holding shift on your keyboard you can hold shift and get rid of those extra lines in between they can always be removed at the end but if they are distracting you from ensuring that you've actually done something good then get rid of them i'll uh, get rid of this i'll get rid of this one you can zoom in and see what you've done right get rid of this one as well and this ones as well all right i can see something different i don't know if anybody's seen it like a face of something so maybe they'll want to have like an avatar later on <laughs> all right so get rid of these lines so we can see what we're working on now we have a brand mark so we can choose a color black obviously for now select that go to select hold shift select only the stuff you want to keep now because this is going around everything it's now one piece it's not multiple piece so just hold shift and click on it and then delete the rest of it now we have this this is cool i like it <laughs> but because i'm the one that did it so obviously i, I would like it all right so we have this we can just move it upward and just give it their brand color let's just do that now yep all right so we have the first uh brand mark that has been done and you can see how we built that as well let's draw a square around it and see how it feels like inside of that square all right select both of them center horizontally and vertically and obviously i'll make the black white right and i'll curve this one the radius of this and that's not bad just move it downwards this you know what put it side by side and we have this all right so that's for the first one let's move on to the next one this is going to be pretty mm, was a keyword intense <laughs> all right so all we need to do for this is first off as usual drop the draw the uh, opacity all right i'll drop the opacity so that i can still see what i'm doing and then i'm going to use the um circle tool i'll draw an o all right i have that there for let's bring it let's show our grid and see what we can achieve right um move this you know what i'm going to move it four steps okay and then increase the size of this one this way and that's cool and then select that ctrl c ctrl f and zoom that i did that so that we can have something well calculated so i won't be having um a distorted design so this is cool this is now for the circle inside of this one and also for the um, other circle this other circle now we need to do for this other circle so ctrl c ctrl f and we'll do the same thing just one step is cool All right and this other circle is going to have double so we'll do it again ctrl c ctrl f and zoom that in now we've done it for the second circle and it's time for us to create those lines um and see how we can join them together to become one entity so at this point there are multiple entities so we're going to do that briefly uh, i mean shortly so i'm going to find out the center line all right and i'll draw my stuff to the center right so i have this at the top here and that is what i need 
and the next thing is to draw a slanted line so i'm just going to get out a line two and draw a slanted line like this right with the pen tool i'm going to select this black and we have this line but it's not touching our uh, entity so we'll bring this this way right it's also not still touching it so this one is going to be very technical it's not going to be like the normal ones so but first off uh, we need to we need to get out two lines actually two lines so we we'll draw the line this way right that's the first line and then we'll draw the second one stop doing this snap let's go to our settings go to view and okay it's there snap to grid select these two all right select both of them i'm going to group them i move them in so each one is going to have that bold line so we can now flip it this way and i'm flipping it 225 degrees all right in case you want to all right now it's perfect we have it it's it's perfect like guys it's really perfect and then i'll just extend this one to go up all the way up there all right select this that is one way we've not done this other way um this other one so let's see we've not done that other one that's true so if we have this one going this way so how would this one then connect because this one has to connect to form that l so that becomes sort of a challenge so let's do this for the outer one first Okay, let's see how this would look in here. So if this is this way, then it doesn't sort of give us what we're looking for. Alright, so I'm going to get rid of I'm going to leave this one first and then um let's see. Let's let us see what we can do so i'm going to actually change um i'm going to change the angle so let's have let's say we have 270 270 is straight up um something like this let's have something like this okay not bad so something like this isn't bad let's grab this one i'm not going to delete it i'll just keep it by the side yeah let it be there for now select it and duplicate it bring it in yeah right and if we're able to get one side all we need to do for the other side is just mirror it so for now we've not been able to align it and i'm going to align it in a way that these things will flow inside of it to give us that illusion that we are actually aiming for so in order for us to achieve this uh would have to manually move this into shape so i'm going to move it to the right with the navigation key it won't work so we can use the x axis move it slightly and you can see we have it at that point where we want it to be for that one and then we'll do it for the other one as well the x axis uh just one step yes and that is perfect they are now on the line you can press ctrl y to see that and ctrl y to go out of that so it's on the line actually uh let's see to this one that is not having control yeah so you can see mm, not so much on the line but let's see if that would work out for us when we build it Control y to go out of that state and what i like to do first is i'll select this and select this and select the line and then go to the shape builder tool and see if that 
works all right so you can see that partitioning is there it works perfectly it works perfectly uh, so that is cool wait a minute we need to still check some other things out so it can work because this line is obviously cutting across it but how about this other part so I'm going to select this circle and this one and this one and test it out again let's see so you can see it's not touching it's not touching even if it's touching there will be a partition here but look at what it shows downwards we have a partition so it's best to test this things if not you won't get something so accurate All right let's go into our control y again and see why it is not touching right we have that and we're going to just try to move that one step away and this is 509 px i'm going to type 508.5 something like that let's do point three and control y right perfect right let's do that again select this and this and this shape builder to shift plus m and it's not it's not perfect yet it's not it's not perfect right it's not perfect yet so we're still going to do the same thing let's move it one more step so point four and try that again shift plus m still not perfect mm. this is what takes much time when you're creating a logo point five no let's do point six point six select that and that and this shift plus m now it is perfect it is perfect now okay perfect right so that one has been sorted we have to create for orders now so we're going to be doing it for the other left side and you just have to take your time if not if you don't check this out you can build the logo and get to this part and have to do it afresh so that is one reason why i do check for these things all right for this one um the only way we can do this is just to draw a line here so i'm going to draw a line here to block it at this point so that i would see if i'll leave this other side open no uh let me put a line here it's just for me to be sure that it's not touching the line and it looks like it's touching so we're going to move that point six yeah so let's do that point six select that and the circle and these other lines right shift plus m and it's perfect it seems that point six is just ideal for this awesome right get rid of those other lines we don't need them delete and this other part is, is perfect so with this other stuff i'm just going to i'll leave it there in fact select both of them both no i'm going to draw a center line so draw the center line make that red aha uh -huh. and so select select that red select this and this ctrl c plus f ctrl g to group flip horizontally and then let's move it to snaps at that point right so that snaps but it doesn't quite give us the kind of snap that we want so let's do this all right so it's at that point where we want it to be now and i doubt this other part is accurate so let's try it out by selecting this 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 and this and let's do that shift plus m right you see you can see it doesn't it doesn't sit well so we're going to move it to the left a bit so it's going to come backwards 
and then we're going to put it 0.6 so let's see if that works select this so we can see our M now it's showing and then select this one this one this one and this one shift plus M put it here okay so that's perfect all the angles are working exactly how they should this is not crossing its boundaries and also for this one so I'll just draw a quick line here All right select that I'm going to ungroup this guys select this 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 and this and let's test that out so this other one is this other one is perfect awesome all right so we have that we're going to reduce the size of this and just keep it at the top somewhere around here for now I will increase its opacity so you guys can see it clearly and we have this right I just move it downwards a bit get rid of the red line we don't need that get rid of the red line get rid of this other one so we have that get rid of this we don't need it anymore select the frame and as usual duplicate it uh, this time I'm going to reduce its size so reduce it and we have this this was this one was not easy right bring that to one and then zoom into this select all of this go to the shape builder tool and we can now start building so it, I know it might be a bit confusing for some people but would have to do it one step at a time so we we'll grab these parts first and it's going to go with this part and we have our stuff the first um, first dropper you can either join this with it or you can leave it but for now I'm going to leave that particular joint and then we can do the outer part All right which is this and then it's going to go up it's going up let me zoom in so you can see it All right so it's, it has gone up this way so where does it end it's supposed to end um, I think somewhere somewhere here so we have this M and then this other one M as well and um, so this guy comes this way this way checking out something guys um, if this guy had gone this way here and this one comes this way that is this guy goes like this and goes this way and this entire beam takes up okay so we missed something and I'll do it again I'm actually going to join this one to be one yeah I like like this let me see leave that join this one right and this one so we have the dropper we have that now we're going to do it for this other one now join it go over here and join that yeah better way better all right with this we're going to zoom in and check if there are places you can see here and here these other joints are okay you can hold shift i mean alt and just delete the other parts you don't want i'll delete this other part i want to keep it clean so i'm going to do that right and do that for this part as well you guys have done a good job bye for now right get rid of that and 
we have this so our m is showing and we have yeah cool i like it i like it so this goes this way and around it comes here and go around awesome let's give the color and then come back select that and click on select just to be sure that we don't have any extra shapes or um, objects around hold shift select it you can see we have extra stuff so it's best to always do that all the time and press delete now we have this this is perfect and we're going to give that a color right we've been able to do this one all right now for this last one you can see where it cuts off so that is what we're going to do this part here is where we just cut off it's the same thing all right um let me bring someone back into the call and then just select everything we've already done the base um select the shape builder tool i'm just going to cut off here now so i don't forget and then we can draw our stuff around and just finish it up yeah perfect that's what we're aiming for all right same thing goes here yeah and then hold your shift your alt i don't know why i'm always saying shift and you can clean up those space do that for this as well and this and this and this and this just do that and we have that that is actually what we have and then give it a color obviously and then select the selection tool hold shift click on what you want to keep delete the rest select this because this is rounded you can see how rounded it is we bring it closer right select this once we do that we would then round those corners so i would hold control double click on this i'll make that 24 select this one make that 24 as well select this one make that three uh, let's do that four select this other one make that four and then this other part is curved so i would zoom in let's make this four and see make this eight right do the same thing this side make this eight and let's make this eight as well so that we keep it uniformly right so we have this one done and then the only thing left is to choose the color and that is that close out hide the grid save that and yeah this looks like a girl <laughs> um all right so that's it guys we're actually done with this and this is the idea for the money point redesign and this obviously someone will be saying would this go in a how would this look like in a square so let's 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 try that out and see how that would go in a square right and just do that and that is that All right so that's that's what it is select this and the square horizontally and vertically and we can give that stroke some more width right so that is money point and we are done we are done like done you can now put the names on it so you can turn on your mic and let me know which one you would go for i'm going to type money and point and i'm going to have to now differentiate it like this is okay uh but i think i'll still give it like a color go up here property channel let me see if the pen tool is here 
Snow in here. Right. Let's draw a shape here. Choose the blue and choose the black. And then we can make this blue and come up here. You see, orange. See how these things work. I'll use my sniper to and I have orange. <laughs> Just like that, I've gotten another color that can work with it. So I'm going to choose the orange. <laughs> wow. And let's see how we can do this. Oh, sorry. I have to copy the color code of the orange. Copy that. Right, come back here. You know what? Let me make this other part. Don't do this, guys. Don't mix these two colors together, all right? And we have money points. All right, so you can make one black. Just select this other one and make that black. Right? And the other one would be the obvious thing. But this will now be the color palette for reads. So we have it as blue, and then we can now we can now change the font. Maybe give it mid outer. No, that would be that would be you know, something like um, a red. Now, let me quickly just find the fonts. Uh, let's try poppins and uh, put it on medium. All right, this would be our color palette. And move this downwards and just extend this this way. Right. Select this bring it this way select it control this right delete this select both of this center this way group it then reduce the size make that this way and that is money point guys we're done Any questions, please?